Will the market crash? What will prices do with the increase on interest rates? We're going to share our thoughts on that right now. We cannot head into the future without taking a look at where we came from. Last year in Milton was a record breaker. We saw an average increase of over $255,000 over this last year. We ended up with 2,924 sales, which is the most we've ever seen. Our number of listings was 3,774, which is up from last year. Now this may surprise you because if you've been hearing that there's an inventory issue, that may cause you to believe that there was less homes for sale, when in fact we had the most homes listed in a single year since 2017 when sellers flooded the market based on speculation. The issue with the lack of inventory is that there are so many more buyers and your home has never been more important than it is right now. It's your office, your gym, your everything. And now for the predictions. Our first prediction is the market will not crash. Sorry to burst your bubble, but that isn't happening in 2022. There is too much pent up demand left from 2021 and we won't see a crash anytime soon. The fundamentals of the economy, immigration, interest rates, and demand are solid. Our second prediction is that we predict around a 15% price increase. We're basing this prediction because we're in a, such a strong seller's market with less than one month of inventory. To put that in context for you, a traditional balance market is around four to six months of inventory, and we haven't had a semblance of a balance market in over a decade. Our third prediction is around interest rates. So we do predict interest rates will go up. Now we know this isn't much of a prediction because Bank of Canada has said that they will raise rates. However, there's tons of speculation around how much. We don't think it's actually going to be very much. 0.75 to 1% over the course of a year. With record low interest rates, we don't see this having a significant impact on the market. If this is a concern of yours though, we'd be happy to connect you with one of our trusted mortgage brokers. Our fourth prediction is government intervention. There's been a lot of talk with very little action from the government. Many times we've seen them do minor adjustments or restrictions that have a larger impact psychologically than anything else. So I wouldn't be holding my breath hoping that this will be your golden ticket ticket to a more balanced market. Our fifth prediction is around inventory. Now we don't predict that the government will be able to change the landscape of the lack of inventory this year, but we do hope that they will remove some of the red tape to get more housing starts off the ground to create more options in the coming years. With that being said, we don't see a change in the housing crisis in 2022 and the low inventory will continue to be an issue this year. We're seeing more and more people that are taking advantage of the work from home lifestyle and taking that further out that they had initially imagined and even leaving for sunnier destinations. We have excellent connections to help make this dream a reality for you if this is something that you've been daydreaming about this winter as well. This migration could impact inventory marginally as they are not buying back into the same market. So those are our predictions. What do you think is going to happen this year? Do you agree or disagree? Will this impact your buying or selling or investing decisions this year? We'd love to hear from you and you can book a consultation with us to discuss your buying and selling plans quickly and easily by clicking the Calendly link below. If you aren't already following us on Instagram, what are you waiting for? Get on over there. We're at Silver Birch Collective on Instagram. If you're thinking of making a move to Milton, be sure to subscribe because next week we are giving you our top five reasons to call Milton home.